Hey y'all, so today we're going to be working on this Q-tip sponge nail art, and it's red, white, and blue, another 4th of July design, and um, I really like that the blue and the red are more dominant in this design, so we're going to go ahead and get started, and what we're going to do is um, use white as our base, and you're going to need a little bit of foil and a little cup with some acetone in it, um, and some Q-tips. So I've already used this one, but I'm going to turn it around and start over the other end. And what you're going to do is put a little bit of your color, drop it onto your foil, and you're going to take the acetone and water it down. Just like that. Then it's on your Q-tip. And then what we're going to do is dot it right onto the nail. Just randomly everywhere that you want it. And remember, we're gonna put a couple of colors on here, so you wanna leave some space for the blue as well. So kinda like that. Then we're gonna get some blue. And our Q-tip and water it down and it's really up to you how much you want to water it down the more you water it down the more it's gonna be really like watercolor so just however you want to do it okay and then we're gonna take Q-tip and dot like mostly everywhere where there's white so that you really get the blue color to show through but you can definitely overlap and give it some um, make it look a little bit purple in some areas and if you need to just kind of keep adding more acetone to your blue Kind of a random design. And then what I did is went back with some more red because I felt like I needed some more spots of red. The blue was really taking up a lot. So, water that back down. Go in, find all the white spots that are left. Just like that. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to go with white. Just a little bit of white. And I need a little bit more acetone, so I'm going to pour some real quick. Okay. Get our Q-tip, water it down, and then just go right in on top of the blue and reds. And this is really just, it kind of gives it like a frosty look. If you can tell, I don't know if that'll focus. There you go, you can see that. See that big white one? That kind of It kind of just gives like a frosted look. You can see on these other ones where it's dry. And I really like that for uh, my personal taste, but if you guys want it darker, then just don't water it down so much and then you can place bigger white blobs and they'll show better. But I really like the watered down look and how it just makes it kind of a little bit frosty. So however you want to do that for yours is certainly up to you. And then this is really just simple plain design that you can 
do so many different effects with it. If you want to go in later and add more, let me just make this clear for you guys. There we go. If you want to go in and add darker, like more blue, or you want to add more colors, you certainly can. You can do this with so many different colors and so many different styles. So if you want to go in and add more red or add more white spots and then add more colors, you can. Or if you want to mix the red and blue some more and make some more darker purpley areas, you can do anything. It's just endless. And each nail looks so different and so unique. I really love this uh, design technique. So let me move this out of the way real quick. And then we'll see if we can see all my nails. That. And there's those. My thumbs. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'm glad I'm getting back in the swing of things. I missed a few times, but um, I think I'll be trying to get back into it again. <laughs> so I have a couple more designs I'm going to be putting up before 4th of July. So stick around, subscribe, and catch those new tutorials. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. See y'all later. Bye.